वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षद राणे एंड माय टीचिंग सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज वन डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस पार्ट वन हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक विच आर कवर्ड इन दिस सेशन आर introduction to finite element method for one dimensional analysis history of finite element method the boundary conditions used in finite element method and the approximate solutions obtained with the help of this finite element methods and different methods introduction to finite element method an analytical solution is a mathematical expression that gives the values of the desired unknown quantity at any location in a body or in a structure and as a consequence it is valid for infinite number of locations in the structure however analytical solutions can be obtained only for simple engineering problems it is extremely difficult and many a times impossible to obtain the exact analytical analytical mathematical solutions for many complex engineering problems in such cases the techniques known as finite element analysis is used in finite element method the body is divided into finite number of smaller units known as elements the process of dividing the body into finite number of elements is known as discretization discretization the assembly of these element then represents a whole structure these elements are considered interconnected at joints which are known as nodes the finite element method covers the steps discretization means conversion of infinite number of into finite number of element then nodes connectivity at the joints between two elements then solutions at the node we have to find the solution at the nodes only then integrate that solution with the help of shape functions shape functions are used to integrate these nodes the history of finite element method although the name finite element is of recent origin the concept is not new and has been used for centuries the basic philosophy is to replace the actual problem by a simpler model which will closely approximate the actual problem the earliest evidence of finite element concept could be traced back in a geometric approximations of pyramids by egyptians in some 5000 years ago ago the archimedes determined the volume of solid by using the principle of approximation the chinese ancient mathematicians found the circumference of the circle by approximating it as a polygon they started approximating the value of pi in the 1st century of ad the development of finite element method of the present day obtained its real impetus from the contributions through research papers by j h argeris and s k lesley m j turner and r w clough h c martin and l j top in 1956 was in, introduced the finite element method the name finite element was firstly used by r w clough in 1960 in his research paper the first book on the finite element method was written by o c zenkevich and y k chung in 1967 with the rapid developments in computer hardware and software the finite element method has become significant and a powerful tool for the numerical solution of a wide range of engineering problems the applications include stress and deflection analysis of machine components automobiles aircrafts bridges buildings etc also along with this the dynamic analysis also perform with the help of finite element including vibrational analysis fluid flow analysis and heat flow analysis problems no boundary conditions the finite element method is applicable to wide range of boundary value problems in engineering in boundary value problems a solution is sought in the region of a body or a structure 
while the values of certain variables are prescribed on the boundaries of the region the values of variables prescribed on the boundary of the region are called as boundary conditions there are two types of boundary conditions geometric or it is we can say that essential boundary conditions another uh, is the force or we can say that the natural boundary conditions uh, the figure shows the example of boundary condition in geometric boundary condition the structural mechanics problem the geometric and essential boundary conditions are include the prescribed displacement slope the uh, slope or it is also known as kinematic boundary conditions in case of force uh, force boundary conditions they are defined by certain forces or pressure the figure shows a cantilever beam ab subjected to a uniform distribution load let p is equal to uniformly distributed load acting over the cantilever beam v is the vertical deflection of the cantilever beam l is the length of the cantilever beam while e is the modulus of elasticity and i is the moment of inertia then the differential equation governing the vertical direction v of the cantilever beam is ei d raised to 4 v by dx raised to 4 is equal to p let us equation a the solution of the above differential equation must satisfy the boundary conditions at point a and b the geometric boundary conditions at point a is x is equal to a the displacement v is equal to 0 at a and slope dv by dx is equal to 0 similarly the force condition at b is given by at x is equal to l the shear force will be ei d cube v by dx cube is equal to 0 and bending moment ei d square v by dx square is equal to 0 in some boundary value problems the boundary conditions are prescribed in a directions other than the coordinate axis of the system such boundary conditions are known as skew boundary conditions the figure shows the support at b is located at an certain angle with respect to the coordinate system x y so such type of boundary condition is known as skew boundary condition from the figure the skew boundary condition at point b is given as displacement in y dash direction is v dash where the v dash is equal to 0 then there are certain approximate solution methods which are used in a finite element analysis first one is the variational method such as relax drifts method the relax drifts method uses the boundary conditions for the solution of engineering problem in case of next is the galerkin method the galerkin method is work on the fun uh, base of error function the galerkin tries to minimize the error in the solution and the third is the least square method the least square method is works on the principle of minimization of sum of the squares of the residuals by using this method you can obtain the solution for the given engineering problem the next is the finite difference method this method uses the differential equations in case finite derivatives to obtain the solution of the problem the finite element method it is uses the finite element to solve the problem the finite solution is obtained at the nodes of the element and uh, with the help of shape functions we can obtain the solution at any location in the structure so okay, guys this is about the one dimensional analysis of part 1 we will discuss and uh, we have seen different types of approximate methods as well as we have seen the boundary conditions how to give that boundary conditions the types of boundary conditions including geometrical conditions and force conditions and also we have seen the variational methods or different approximate methods to find out the solution of engineering problem Thank you.